Imagine a peaceful night in the small Alaskan town of Port Chatham, disturbed by an eerie sound resonating from the forest. It was a night like no other, as the first chilling encounter with the Sasquatch unfolded. The tranquility of the town was shattered by an inexplicable terror that seemed to emerge from the shadows of the towering trees. In the dead silence, the residents woke up to an alarming sight. Large, almost human-like footprints were discovered, etched deep into the ground, hinting at the presence of a creature of considerable size and strength. The town was abuzz with whispers and fearful glances as the residents grappled with this mysterious phenomenon. But the footprints weren't the only puzzle. The town's heavy machinery, the kind that would take machines to lift, were found moved, displaced from their usual spots. This inexplicable incident added another layer to the growing fear and confusion. Was this the work of some prankster, or was there something more sinister at play? As the nights rolled in, a sense of fear began to seep into the very fabric of Port Chatham. The once vibrant town was now held captive by an unseen terror turning every rustle in the woods into a terrifying reminder of their chilling encounter. As the sun rose on Port Chatham, the reality of what had happened began to set in. They were not alone. This video is brought to you by the Lower Michigan Sasquatch Research Team. The town was never the same after the first encounter. The Sasquatch, or Hairy Man as the locals began to call it, was just getting started. The sightings became more frequent, and the terror among the townsfolk grew palpable. Reports of the Sasquatch, an imposing figure cloaked in mystery, meddling with the machinery and water wheels around the town started to circulate. Not just any machinery, mind you, but the colossal contraptions that the lumbermen used. It would take machines of considerable might to move these monoliths, yet they were found displaced, as though toyed with by an unseen force. But the real terror seeped into the town when the footprints started to appear huge, almost human-looking footprints that were found wherever these eerie incidents took place. The dread was not just confined to these monstrous tracks, for with each sighting, there was a chilling discovery. Missing persons, their bodies twisted and mangled in a manner most gruesome. The once bustling town of Port Chatham began to change. The fear of the unknown, coupled with the tangible dread of the hairy man, started to take its toll on the townsfolk. One by one, houses started to empty, families began to move, and the town's population began to dwindle. The once lively chatter was replaced with hushed whispers and the town's jubilant spirit was overshadowed by an eerie silence. The Sasquatch was not just a creature lurking in the shadows anymore. It had become a terror that had gripped the minds of the townsfolk, a spectral presence that was driving people away. The once thriving community was now a place of fear, a town living in the shadow of the hairy man. With each passing day, Port Chatham was losing not just its people, but also its spirit. As the last of the townsfolk left, Port Chatham fell silent. But was it truly abandoned? The eerie quiet of the deserted streets echoed with the ghostly whispers of its past. This once thriving cannery community, teeming with Russian aleuts, was now a chilling testament to the fear that had driven its inhabitants away. The haunting tales of the Sasquatch encounters had left an indelible mark transforming Port Chatham into a ghost town. Yet, even in abandonment, Port Chatham refuses to fade into oblivion. Recent years have seen discussions about breathing new life into this ghost town, about re-establishing it as a village. The ruins of the abandoned village have even served as the backdrop for the reality television series, Alaskan Killer Bigfoot. A grim reminder of the town's past, the series delves deep into the mysteries of this forsaken place. Port Chatham may be a ghost town today, but its chilling past continues to echo through the deserted streets. The hairy man of Port Chatham remains a mystery, a chilling reminder of a time when fear ruled the town. Imagine a small cannery community, thriving one day and then haunted by sightings of massive hairy creatures the next. Reports of these creatures tampering with water wheels and moving machinery so heavy, it would typically require machines to lift them. More terrifying were the huge, almost human footprints left behind, a macabre signature of their presence. With each passing day, the town's population dwindled, as missing persons were found mangled and twisted, instilling a fear that gripped the hearts of the remaining townsfolk. Theories abound as to what these creatures were. Some say they were Sasquatches, others believe they were a figment of collective fear, a physical manifestation of the town's anxiety and dread but the truth remains elusive. 
As the town of Port Chatham receded into history, the mystery of the hairy man continues to intrigue and confound us. Theories and conjectures continue to circulate, but the truth remains as elusive as the creature itself. As we delve deeper into the mystery of Sasquatch, one thing becomes clear. Port Chatham will forever be remembered as the town that was driven to extinction by the hairy man.